Hey everyone, this is Jill Barreto from Apex Electronics. Thank you again for choosing the Apex Type A as your TDCS device. In this series of tutorial videos, we are walking you through all the steps you need to begin your TDCS journey, from opening the box to choosing your montage for your first session. This video, split into two main segments, will first show you how to prepare your electro square electrodes for a TDCS session. In the second segment, I will show you how you can care for them in order to prolong their life. You can also jump right to the section you need by going to the time listed below. So let's get started. The electro square components consist of three parts, the outer silicone shell, an inner conductive pad, and a layer of cellulose sponge. The shell and sponge are insulators. The carbon pad is the only part that naturally conducts electricity. When saline is added, electrical current flows from the conductive pad through the sponge via the saline solution. That, in a nutshell, is how the electrosquare electrodes work. For this first step, you'll need your electrosquare kit and saline solution. You can watch our video on how to make saline solution for TDCS on our YouTube channel. We recommend you make your own rather than purchase it. Pre-made saline has low salinity, and it may impact your device's performance. If you want to buy pre-made and choose to, you can add extra salt to it as well. Also, never use electrode gel on your TDCS electrodes because the viscosity of the gel is not suitable for use with the cellulose sponges. If this is the first time you've prepared electro squares and the sponge pads are new and compressed, you may choose to use a bowl full of saline to simply dunk them in. It is also okay to pour the saline onto compressed pads over a sink or a bowl. Either method is fine. And the goal is to end up with completely oversaturated sponge pads dripping with excess saline solution. Now that you have them in this state, place both pads together with the sponge sides touching making sure to align the cable orifices downwards toward the sink or bowl. Squeeze them so that most of the excess saline is removed. You want the cellulose pads to end up wet enough to feel through your hair, but not so wet that saline starts dripping over your eyes or through your hair during your session. It's pretty easy to get the hang of how much moisture you need within just a couple of sessions and different hair types may require a little more or less saline solution. All you need to do from here is to insert the provided electro square cables into the orifices. Make sure the inner conductive pads connectors are aligned with the outer shell orifices to make this step easier. A little force may be required. The end result should look like this completely inserted cables, leaving no metal surfaces exposed. At this point, you are ready for your first TDCS session. Simply insert the other end of the cables into the device following the color code, red or anode cable on red connector, and black or cathode cable on the black connector. Immediately upon finishing your session, remove the cables from the device and the electrosquare electrodes. Rinse the ends that were inside the pads, ideally with distilled water, but any fresh water will work, and then dry them gently. Although the cables will corrode over time due to being exposed to salt, you can make them last at least six months if you follow this step every time. You also do not need to rinse the electrodes after each session. Simply store them sponge sides touching into a storage vessel, like a plastic bag or container. If you have a travel kit, you can place them inside the appropriate electrode storage compartment. When it's time for your next session, Simply add a few drops of saline as needed to reach the ideal moisture level again. As water evaporates and more saline is added, the salt concentration on the pads will increase and salt crystals may start to form, which can cause discomfort during the session. 
In order to prevent this, we recommend that you rinse the ElectroSquare electrodes thoroughly under warm running water after about five to seven sessions. After rinsing, squeeze as much of the fresh water out as you can. Then go ahead and resaturate the pads with saline. Repeat this step one or two more times to ensure you have proper saline levels and to remove any traces of fresh water from the sponge pads. This ensures you have a consistent level of saline in them at all times. You also do not need to remove the sponge pads for cleaning. Removing the inner parts increases the chances of the cellulose sponge pads tearing and will cause them to have a shorter lifespan. Keeping your electrosquare electrodes clean by periodic rinsing and in suitable storage containers ensures removing the inner parts will not be necessary until you need to replace the sponge pads after about six months. Replacement parts are available on our site at apexdevice.net. That's apexdevice.net. You can purchase extra sponge pads, inner conductive pads, or complete electrosquare kits. We also have TSA air travel approved saline spray bottles for sale. Our sales and support team will help you if you need any assistance. Call us at 877-915-8327. That's 877-915-8327 or email us at contact at apexdevice.net. Now you have all your TDCS equipment tested, prepared, and ready for your first session. If you don't know which montage to use or don't understand specific terminology, like what cathode on left arm means, it's nothing to worry about, we have you covered. Watch our next tutorial on how to choose and execute your TDCS montage on our YouTube channel or on our website. Hope to see you there.